mechanics. We're going to talk about that, get the ball to the inside official. And then when you're tempo, you've got more snaps and more opportunity to score. Okay, this is just a couple of still shots uh, from the last couple of years at Arkansas. Uh, you got all 11 guys lined up. The defense is not set. Uh, that's advantage offense. Okay, that's what you want right there. Okay, mechanics. So for us, it works for us. I'm on the field. We have one signaler, okay? There's a couple different reasons why we do that. Um, I like being on the field. I like looking the players in the eyes. I like being able to feel the game. I like seeing the DBs, the defense. I like looking at those guys because I think it gives you a better feel for that. Uh, so that's why I choose to be on the field. Uh, with that, we use one signaler. So uh, our quarterback and our skill guys are going to get the signals. They're going to relay the call to the O-line. The O-line, every play should be the same to them. Okay, and it all starts with the center. You see that up there. But he's got to find exactly where the ball is going to be set. Uh, so we do use one signaler. We don't try to, um, to do all the other stuff. If you can get our signals and you can get lined up and get that communicated to all 11 guys on the field, then we're not playing fast enough. That's on us. Uh, we play with one ball. That's what we want to do. So when we start a drive, uh, we're going to try to play with one football. Okay, and that's we'll talk about it, but you've got to ball your managers on that as well. But when we start the drive, we need to play with one football. Obviously, there's going to be stoppage. Um, there's going to be things that happen defensively. Uh, they're going to flop on you. Okay, that's going to happen. Uh, there's going to be penalties, all that type of stuff, and you can exchange the ball, and then if it's a weather situation, you can play with a different ball. But we want to try to play with one football uh, when we start a drive. Skilled players get the ball to the center judge. You guys know that. Center take the lead. It's imperative that your center is uh, an intelligent guy that understands the tempo and knows how to go find where the ball is going. If it's out of bounds to the left, get to the left hash. You know where it's going to be. Find the line judge, get set, so those other guys can get set off of you. Nobody else is going to get down. The right guard ain't going to get his big ass down until you get your hand on the ball, and then the left tackle is going to, what it, all that's going to happen after you get down, okay? So he's got to be fast being able to get down. And then we film with a continuous tape during uh, our scrimmages uh, in the fall and the spring and during our games. So we'll, we'll have a continuous tape and they're gonna fill everything. So we're gonna coach in between the plays and uh, we'll have guys that'll cut that up and we'll make a highlight of that. We'll show it to them uh, post game and we'll show our players, hey, you seen what you're doing with the ball right here. So you're handing it to this official and we'll show the offense, you're handing it to this guy. Well, this guy is not very athletic and he's gonna throw the ball to that guy on the field and that guy's gonna drop the ball. And then that umpire is finally gonna get the ball set. And by that time, there is no tempo. And it's all because you're just not running the ball inside. And so you're able to show those guys and then showing them doing it correctly. A guy catching the ball on the sideline, running the ball in, handing it to the ump, getting a signal and playing fast. And so all that stuff matters and you're able to coach off of it. Uh, just a couple clips of, of tempo mechanics here. Uh, really nothing from a schematic standpoint. Uh, the receiver up top, okay, did a good job. He gets up the field. He's on the sideline. This is our first year and this is, this is what you want. So the guy's running out on the field right here. He's getting the ball to the umpire and he's getting the signal. Uh, you can see our center is right down the right hash. He knows exactly where he needs to be. Um, quarterback, is he's getting the signal. Skill guys are getting the signal. And the next play, obviously I know that it's out of bounds right hash. The next play is already coming out. So as the ball, we know it's a right hash play. The next play is going to be coming out right here. Okay, so the guys are able to see the signal. They're able to get lined up. We know it's a right hash play. Here we go. Okay, right here, you can see he's running in. These guys normally want to take the ball. The other thing that is uh, you got to coach up are these managers. So this is our first year at Arkansas, so this was in 2020. So that's a manager who's trying to go get the ball to the official. All that does is slow down your pace right there. We don't want to do that. We want to play with one ball. So those guys will end up getting coached up. But we'll show those guys. Um, Mark Colla, who's with me at TCU now, we've got him at Florida Atlantic. He's going to meet with the managers, and he'll, he'll watch this tape with those guys and show them, like, this is how we're trying to play and make sure that they're in the loop with what we're trying to do. Okay, same thing here, okay, with the uh, skilled player on the sideline. Okay, you can see he thinks about it right there, about giving the ball. All right, now he's running inside. That's what you want, 